You are watching Storyboard, the show where you are the head writer. And now here's your host, me, Mr. Steve. Hi, and welcome to Storyboard with Mr. Steve. That's me, I'm Mr. Steve. Let me tell you a little bit about our show and how we're going to do things. Uh, we're going to come each week, uh, each show, with a different theme. And then our callers at home are going to uh, give us a call and they're going to contribute lines to a story. And by the end of the show, we'll have a great short story. Now, some of you may not know that the, the short story is one of America's great contributions to the writing world. Uh, Japan has the haiku. Uh, England has the sonnet. America has the short story. So uh, we're very excited to get started. So we're not going to waste any time. Each week, we're going to give you a theme and probably a first sentence just to get you off and running. And then we'll let the callers take it from there. So this week, we figured because spring is in the air, and, well, not in L.A., spring's always in the air in L.A., but uh, because spring is in the air in most other places, people are looking to get out of work, maybe take a little vacation. We're going to make our theme this week, vacations. So get those brains working about a story about taking a break, taking vacations, going away with families. Everyone's got bad stories about going away with their families, things like that. So, what we're going to do is we're going to start you off with our first sentence of our story. And a good way to start any story is to come up with either a, a good character or a good action, something that happens, uh, and then you can take it from there. So what we're going to do is we're going to start with a character, we're going to call him Dave. Just a good all-American name. And our first sentence is going to be... <clears throat> Well, I'll tell you first. The sentence is, it had been three years since Dave had had a vacation. Very simple. We can go anywhere from there. Dave could end up in crazy circumstances, or he could just take a nice vacation. So let's see. It had been three years since Dave had a vacation. I got smaller. Vacation. So, like I said, viewers, now you can call, give a call in. We got the number flashing up on the screen, and you can help contribute to this story. We're going to come up with a great story. So, do we have a caller on the line? Caller, hello, are you there? Hi, Steve. Hello. Hi, Mr. Steve. Can you hear me? I can. What, what's your name? I am John. Hi, John. How are you today? Good. How are you? I'm good. Are you excited to contribute to a storyboard? I'm very excited. And uh, I think the first sentence is a great uh, introductory. What would be the opening sentence? We call it the opening sentence. Yeah, it's the opening book. sentence. And like I said, it's just what we want to do is we want to set the stage. It right. can go anywhere. A good story can go anywhere as long as you have a good opening. Okay. How about this? Let's, I think maybe we should describe Dave a little bit. Terrific. That's a great, a great way to go in a story if you don't know where to go. Just look at your first sentence and think about what you've got. You've got a character, you've got an action. Describe the character okay. that your readers want to know. Great, and as of right now, we don't know what Dave does for a living. Exactly. Okay, so how about this? Uh, let's see. It has been three months since Dave... Oh, three years. Three years. Yeah, it's a long time. <laughs> Dave had a vacation. That's a long... Can you imagine? Um, let's see. How about Dave had been working full-time mm -hmm. as a customer service rep. Where was he with? an internet company. Oh, there you go. See, you, you, you gave us some information, then you gave us some more. So, okay. okay, give me that one again. Dave had been, Dave had spent that whole time, I think is what I said. Okay. Dave had spent that whole time working Mm -hmm. as a customer service rep I wish I was a faster writer I wish you wrote a little bigger too oh okay I'm sorry <clears throat> as a customer service rep for an internet service provider oh boy for ISP yeah ISP. for an ISP for right, those of you who don't know that's internet service provider Thanks, Mr. Steve. Hey, thank you very much. John, was it? Yes, yeah, it was John. Thanks, John. Keep writing. Thanks. Okay, so there we go. We have an introductory sentence that shows us who our main character is and kind of sets up where the story is going to go. We've got Dave. What do we know about Dave? Well, we know he works for an ISP. 
and we know the poor guy hasn't had a vacation in three years. It's a long time to go without a vacation. So uh, do we have another caller on the line who can contribute our next our next line? Yeah, Mr. Steve? Hello. Hello, can you hear me? I can. Can you, hear, can you hear me? I can. What's your name? My name's Erin. Hi, Erin. Hi. Have you ever gone three years without a vacation? No, I <laughs> haven't. I've got two kids to support, so Ooh, no goodness. vacation for me. Wow. So I just, what I, I just tuned in. Oh. An ISP. An ISP is an internet service provider. Okay, not if like, <laughs> um, like Comcast or, or Time Warner Cable. Okay, I have them. Oh, okay. <laughs> So, uh, so do you know what we're doing here? You just tuned in. Did you catch our explanation? So we have a character named Dave. There's a character named Dave. He works for an ISP and he hasn't had a vacation in three years. Um, so if I give you an idea, can you help me write the sentence? I'd be happy to. That's why I'm here. I think Dave hasn't had a vacation because the ISP, the internet service provider, um, it went under, it went bankrupt. Oh boy. So now you're adding some business intrigue. Yes. Okay. Well, then we can. What we can do is we can help craft. That's why Dave hasn't had a vacation because he's been he working really. Now they went out of business. So so, it's not really vacation. I think he, you know. Oh, okay. This is an involuntary vacation. So now what you're doing is you're forcing the action. This is what we call this. We call this Deus ex machina, which is uh, Greek for God in the machine. And what that means is it's a technique that a writer uses to make the action move. When nothing is happening, he makes things happen to the character that are out of his control. So Dave's company suddenly goes under. Dave's got to figure out, does he get a new job? Does he take a vacation? Or does he just sit around and watch TV? You know? That's cool. So, uh, so you want to say that Dave's company had gone under. That's what I want to say. Okay. I don't quite know how to say it, though. Uh, uh, suddenly, how about we say suddenly? Suddenly. Uh, because Dave's company filed for bankruptcy, he... Now Dave has to take a vacation. Now, or, well, he doesn't have to take a vacation, but now Dave finds himself without anything to do. We don't know if he's going to take a vacation yet. Okay. Okay? Right. So, suddenly... I like the suddenly part. Yeah, it kind of adds immediacy to it. Mm -hmm. Suddenly, because Dave's company went out of business... It went under. Went under. I want to say went under. Okay. Is that big enough? Can you hear that? Read that, I can Aaron? read that. You have actually nice, you have nice things. Oh, thank you. Because Dave's company... Went under. Went under, comma... He, he now has free time on his hands. Okay. Aaron, how old are your kids? Uh, I have a boy who's four and a girl who's eight. And what are their names? Uh, David and Alexander. Oh, you have a David. Uh, Maybe one day he can work for a, a, uh, an ISP. I know, Dave. I don't call him Dave, though. Oh, really? Not David. There we go. There we go. There's your sentence. That looks great. Thanks for calling, Aaron. Thanks, Mr. Steve. Bye. Bye-bye. Okay, so it had been three years since Dave had, had a vacation. Dave had spent that whole time working as a customer service rep for an ISP. Suddenly, because Dave's company went under, he now has free time on his hands. There we have a perfect setup for a story. You see, in a story, we really have to have three things. We have to have a character, we have to have a setting and we have to have an action. Something has to happen in our story. And this is what we have. Now, a lot of people don't know. This is just a little bit of tidbit of information. I was saying how the short story is one of America's great art forms. The father of the modern American short story, believe it or not, was Edgar Allan Poe. A lot of people think that he was just a, a, a horror writer who died penniless as an alcoholic, but he actually helped form what we now consider the, the accepted form for the American short story. A lot of you probably didn't know that, but that's why you're watching Storyboard with Mr. Steve. Do we have another caller on the line? Yes, Steve. Hello. Hi, can you hear me, Steve? I can, loud and clear. What's your name? Brian. Oh, hey, Brian, how are you? Good. Good. Hey, you know, talking about Edgar Allan Poe, did you know that uh, he actually married a 14-year-old? Uh, <laughs> it was, it, it's true. Well, times were different then. Inappropriate. Well, maybe not then. She was an old 14. There you go. <laughs> okay, so where were we in the story? Uh, Dave had, our, our character Dave had just realized that uh, he now had time in his hands for the first time in three years because his company went out of business. 